Today I'm going to show you how to use netstat.ex program on Windows to actually remove nasty spyware and nasty trojans using certain ports on your PC to access your network. We're going to use a task kill program and a task list, list program to identify and delete the file. Basically I'm not infected but speed hardwired with Ethernet connection to my router has slowed and it's being affected by these active connections using the ports. So what we're going to do with Windows 10 we're going to search and then we're going to type in CMD so Charlie Micro Delta then we can open up command prompt so here we have our command prompt so what we're going to do we're going to enter in our netstat so you can see here netstat and this will show us all the active connections that we have on our PC at the moment so also in this instructional video I'm going to show you how to identify the connections with the PID number and with the name so what we're going to do as well as netstat we can use the task list so the task list is list is going to tell us exactly what each connection is by PID and name so if you type in task and then list so we can see here task list okay so we can see there are a lot more connections let me just open up command prompt a little bit more so there are a lot more connections here uh, what we're going to do we're going to identify those by the image name and the PID number okay so those are two methods that we're going to use to remove each connection okay so the image name obviously we can see here system idle process SVC host services.exe and then PID number so the process identification number very important that we understand these um, if we can just identify before with the netstat connection it shows you the TCP that is the port which is being used so with our named connection we can obviously find out exactly what it is so we want to find out what it is so if we take the name there is a website that's very useful it's spyware.com and you can type into your spyware.com any name that you like yeah, so I advise using a notepad and if we type in the full name I'll show you exactly what, what we're going to do so image name here Let's see. SMSS.exe. .exe, okay. And then you can copy and paste that into your file. So here is a file I've looked up earlier. It's Alvagus. Dot exe, dot a, dot exe. Always add the exe. So what we're going to do, we're going to search exactly what that is. So it's a Trojan. It's level seven. So if we click on that, it will then take us to spyware guide, and that will give us more information about exactly what it is. So it's a Trojan malicious application that poses itself as a legitimate software in order to trick users to install one of the victims machine once on the victim's machine area may run any number of malicious process to steal vital information or inflict damage to other software so this is obviously very important this is level seven on the index so we have to obviously take this away so we'll go back to our command prompt and we'll open up our command prompt box so there are two real ways to get rid of each and every connection okay so the first way is a non-forced way 
and what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at doing that. It's the task kill method. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in task kill. If we haven't already got, this is another point that's very interesting as well. If we haven't already got this C search here. Okay, so say we're still using the c.user. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll type in cd and then slash. So cd and then slash. And that will take you back to your C search. So coming over here to our command prompt. With this command prompt, we have opened up the administrator. So administrator command prompt. And what we're going to do, we're going to identify exactly what we're going to be using to remove the active connection. So we're going to type in task kill. And the PID number. So you will see the name of the connection and the PID. And um, you see the name and the PID number. PID, obviously, very important. We're going to be using that in a little minute. Task kill. Um, there is open the command prompt, run as administrator, type cd, type c. So enter task kill. And then forward slash F space P I D and we're going to enter in the PID 2660. Okay, so 2660, it's in the list. Let's see, 2660 space 2660, and there we go. Okay, so task kill space forward slash F forward slash P I D space two six six zero success. The program the process with PID two six six zero has been terminated. Okay, so what we can do now, we can um, we can have a look at going ahead and killing our connections with the name of the connection. So some very important uh, task kill search we need to do is to type in task kill and then space forward slash question mark and then enter. And what this is, it's a list of the commands that are very important to know. We're going to be using some of these commands. Uh, so here we have the password, the uh, FI, the filter, the system is S, forward slash PID is process ID. Okay, so the image name forward slash IM, that's very important. And very important is the forward slash T, terminate the specific process and a child process that were started by it. So that's very important. And then forward slash F specifies to forcefully terminate the process. So when you're trying to terminate using the PID number and you can't terminate, you have to use an F process to forcefully terminate. This is what we're going to use. We're going to use this command prompt. Now I'm going to go over to our command prompt and this is our run as administrator command prompt. Okay, so what we're going to do here to bring this our command prompt back to our C search to bring this back to our C search we're going to type cd space backslash. Okay, so that, now we have our C space open we're going to type task kill space forward slash f for forcibly remove forward slash am for name and then chrome dot exe get that out of the way there okay so we can see that we have the task kill command prompt followed by the F which stands for force to be removed, IM which stands for name. And there we have it. The process chrome.exe with PID. 
So again we have this second identification has been terminated so you no longer have an open connection and that will bring your your broadband right back up to speed so that's how you do it you can do that yourself leave a comment in the box below and I'll get back to you with any information that you need thanks for watching